What's up everybody, Tegan here with High Point Scientific. Thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing an accessory that we think every amateur visual enthusiast as well as astrophotographer should have in their arsenal. This is something that I've personally been using for a while now and have found it extremely beneficial in many instances, and that's the Aperture Cleaning Kit. video we're going to talk about a bunch of do nots when it comes to cleaning your equipment or your camera sensors or your telescopes so make sure you stick around for that but first let's take a dive into each piece of this aperture cleaning kit okay so the first piece of equipment included in the aperture cleaning kit that we're going to discuss is the air pump this is fantastic if you just want to rid your optics or your filters or your corrector plates or mirrors of light dust. Just give this a couple squeezes and all that dust should blow right off. If you do want to blow off your camera sensor, we recommend that you turn your camera body, you know, DSLR or whatever camera it is that you're using upside down and blow off your sensor from underneath just so that dust that's within the camera body doesn't settle back down onto the sensor. Next up, we have the Aperture Lens Pen. Now these are awesome to use if you just have stubborn dust left over on your optics that you can't remove with your air pump. You wanna use the camel hair side of the brush to brush the optics or your filter off and that should get most of the dust left over. If you do have some fingerprints or oil smudges on your optics, then you can use the opposite side of the lens pan, which will reveal a carbon head. This will allow you to rub those fingerprints or those oil smudges right off your optics. Okay, so speaking of lens cleaner, here we have the Apertura lens cleaner. Now this is what I use the most out of this kit and we think that you guys may use this a lot as well. So we've included several microfiber cleaning cloths as well as single use lens paper. Now what you want to do when you're using this is to not spray it directly onto the optics or your filter. First you want to wrap the lens paper or the microfiber cleaning cloth around your finger, spray one or two sprays onto your finger with the lens cleaner depending on how big your optics are and then rub in a circular motion from inside to outside. We also recommend using this on eyepieces or diagonals for visual use because a clean eyepiece or diagonal is going to improve your view significantly. Okay, so that brings us to our next two items, which is the Aperture Sensor Cleaner followed by the Aperture Sensor Cleaner Swabs. Now these are only to be used with your camera sensors. You do not want to use them on optics, on eyepieces or on filters only use them with your camera sensors. Okay, so like the lens cleaner, you do not want to drip the sensor cleaner directly onto the camera sensor. You want to drip one or two drops onto the camera sensor cleaning swab, and then you wanna sweep from left to right at about a 60 degree angle. Do this a couple times until you don't see any dust, and that should take care of any of those stubborn dust specks or dirt that have fallen onto your camera sensor. So after the initial sensor cleaning, if you still have some residue or if your sensor's still a little bit moist, from your original clean, then we recommend that you just take a new sensor swab and swipe from left to right again at a 60 degree angle to dry up any of that leftover sensor cleaner. Another important note about the sensor cleaner is that if you plan on using it with the DSLR, there are a specific set of instructions that you need to follow. Now within the Aperture Cleaning Kit is an instruction manual that lays out all these instructions very nicely. We recommend that you dig into those as we're not going to discuss the full set of instructions that you need to follow in this video, but go into the user manual and see what steps that you need to follow to make sure that you are safely removing dust from your sensor. As mentioned before, there are several microfiber cleaning cloths as well as lens papers that you can use to help clean your optics or your filters or your camera lenses. The microfiber cleaning cloths can be reused a few times. Um, make sure if they're too dirty, then you toss them. You're gonna wanna open a new one. But the lens papers are disposable. You wanna use them once and toss them, but each pack comes with several. So you have about 100 to 150 actual uses with the two packs that are included within the Aperture Cleaning Kit. And last but definitely not least are the antibacterial screen cleaning wet wipes. These are best used for cleaning the exterior of your eyepieces, your camera bodies, scopes, cable wipes, and other exterior surfaces. After constant use, your cameras and your scopes and your equipment are going to get dirty. You just want to rub in a circular motion and this should take off any dirt or grime or oil smudges that you have on your equipment. It's also important to keep your equipment clean for the occasional photo op. Okay, now on to how not to use some of the equipment in the Aperture Cleaning Kit. The first big do not is 
Don't blow on your equipment to try to get the dust off. Don't blow on your camera sensor to try to get the dust off. Just use the air pump that we provide you. Just use the cleaning cloths and the lens pen that we give you and the aperture cleaning kit. It's gonna be the best way to go. You don't wanna get spit on your optics or your equipment. Also, don't use canned air or compressed air to rid your optics or sensors of dust. That's There's moisture that comes out of that as well. And if that gets on your optics or your sensor, that's even worse than spit from your mouth. So don't use canned air. And lastly, I know I mentioned this in the video, but when you're cleaning your optics or your lenses or your eyepieces, your filters or your camera sensor, you don't want to apply the lens cleaner or the sensor cleaner directly to the subject. You wanna put it on the microfiber cloth first or the sensor swab and clean it that way. If you put too much lens cleaner on your lens, it could drip down underneath the lens or if you put it on your sensor, then it could drip off the sensor into the electronics or down into the camera body. So directly onto the cloth itself is recommended. So that's about it for the Aperture Cleaning Kit. Like I said, I've used this several times in the past on my refractors, my camera lenses, and even my filters. And it's it's been a fantastic cleaning kit and it's come in handy out in the field. If you have any questions, you can always consult the instruction manual that comes within the case, or you can take a look at our Aperture QR code. And you can go ahead and scan that. Can you scan it? Can you scan these things? YouTube. This will take you directly to our home page of the Aperture Cleaning Kit where we discuss all of these instructions in detail. Everything you've seen in the video will definitely be on that landing page. So thank you again so much for tuning in. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to consult our non-commissioned product advisors and we'll be always happy to help. Thank you so much. Oh, and clear skies.